I think that people hear, you know, these numbers coming out and they're being told uh, in the media that Canada is doing so well. But people don't feel that inside their homes and inside their family. People are really struggling. Uh, you know, we're really committed to having the courage to have people who have a lot of money in our country, like the very, very wealthy, the elites, $20 million, I don't think that's any of us here in this room, pay a little bit more. 1% more tax on people who have $20 million or more would generate enough money to lift everyone up. And that's what we're really suffering under is this great inequality. And farmers certainly have been suffering under that too. You know, we need to have the courage to do this and we need to be responsible about investment. And farm families deserve it. We need a whole total rehaul of the farm package and the way that all of those supports are being delivered and actually what they look like. Are they meaningful today? for farm families? Are they serving their purpose or are they things that sit on a shelf no one can ever access and really are of no benefit to anyone? That's not working. So if we have funds that are available, we have to make sure that they're being delivered in a way that affects everyone here on, on the ground. Um, the other thing too, uh, you know, we are watching money walk out of our country. We look at what just happened at NEMAC. I always say in Ottawa, if we ran our homes the way they run this government, we wouldn't have a home. We wouldn't have a roof over our head. Uh, and to be quite honest, we keep handing corporations all this money without any strings attached. And then when they up and leave out of our country and leave good jobs, take them with, out of our communities, we're left with a struggle and a fight that often we're not able to win. The system is entirely broken. There is money. We looked at the Paradise Papers. Look at all of the corporations that are offshoring money in Canada. They call it snow washing. That's what we're becoming known for now, is a place to shelter your money. And that's not the country that we all want to build for our families and for our children. We want a country where everyone is doing better, and those at the top pay their fair share.